Okay, so uh, welcome back. Um, I'm going to do two uh, two separate segments. Um, I am showing you right now the uh, the end result, kind of jump on the gun here, but uh, this is what we're going to be uh, making next. Uh, as you can see, I do have the base flocking done uh, on the rise, and I do have the uh, bocage hedges in. Um, I've also added in the uh, debris here and the stone the stone wall where uh, something has obviously come through, either a small vehicle or maybe some infantry, uh, I don't know, a bazooka shot or something, uh, something's blown this up. But you can see the rubble and then the uh, grass is tidied up around the edge here. Show the inside shot as well. Uh, as you can see, it is it is substantially uh, substantially higher than, uh, than some uh, bocage rows. We're here uh, just checking, like I said, uh, bang on at about an inch and a half to an inch and three quarters. Uh, that way it's successfully going to hide a tank on the other side and um, gives a realistic effect. So, uh, this is done in two stages. Obviously, uh, the base blocking is done first and then the uh, pump foliage on top. So, let's start it all off. Set that aside. I will grab the piece that we'll be working on and uh, we'll be doing this section here. Um, this actually continues the piece I already made. i um, leaving this out for now, so we won't be uh, dealing with the uh, replaceable sections as of yet, but uh, we will work on what we have done here. Um, I just finished base coating that, so hopefully it's dry, which I think it is. And, uh, okay, we'll start off. Uh, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to get some, uh, some glue and we're going to be painting this uh, this edge right here. Um, what I do is I use uh, my well bond glue and I put it into a Dixie cup and then I mix in some water. It's about a 50 to 50 ratio. Uh, a little heavier on the glue, maybe like a 60-40 I find. Uh, works a little bit better and uh, makes it nice and thick. Uh, I work with several size brushes. Uh, obviously you need a small one to get into all the recesses and then a bigger one if you had some uh, larger sections like this, you can use the big brush just so you're not uh, wasting time painting with a small brush. So, I'll uh, get right into it. Taking my small brush and I'm going to come into all these sections, hopefully you can see this. And anywhere that I can see exposed green, I want to come right up in. If you do get some of the rocks, don't worry about it at all. Uh, it is grass that's going here after all. And the rocks have obviously been there longer than the grass, and therefore it uh, will look natural if uh, some of the grass is growing up onto the rock. So I'm not uh, too careful, I just get in there and I try to cover everything I can. And again, you've already painted it green, so if you miss some spots, don't worry about it. Um, from an uh, arm length distance, you're not going to really see it anyways. So just come in here, and I do use a dark grass on the inside here. Um, just because uh, it gives an illusion that there's shadow, which the rocks and uh, eventually the bocage will create a shadow in the natural world, so we want to emulate it as best we can. So I come in here and I paint up my blue. I'm just going to do one side to show you for right now. So I have it all painted in there very nicely. Let's do this back side edge here. And you can work fairly... You don't need to go at a crazy pace, it's not going to dry up on you. And you come in and make it nice and thick. Thicker the better. Okay. As you can see, i got a white uh, piece of uh, uh, Bristol board down. This is actually just to uh, catch and fold my flock back into the container. Uh, I'm working uh, first with um, uh, it's basically a tricolor mix. Uh, it's got some static grass in there as well, and uh, I just use that because it's nice and uh, nice and thick. It's almost like a blended turf. What I do is using the small holes here. I just come on and uh, shake it on very liberally. I'm not uh, not careful at all with this. I want to make sure I get it in all of the recesses. Moving the board around, changing the angle. Coverage. You 
will have lots of blank spaces, so you'll need to uh, obviously do two or three coats. Scoop that back up and sprinkle it into the areas. There we go. Okay. Shake it off again. Okay. And now you see you have more coverage. One more time, scoop it up, and come back in. Sprinkle, 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 that's what I'm going to do. Now, some people may leave this for 10 to 15 minutes to dry. Um, I don't, obviously. Simply because eventually um, the grass, by doing it several times, will pretty much absorb all the areas. Plus when you pound it off and get the static grass to stand up right away. I find if you leave it for 10 minutes, um, the areas that are stuck down well will be stuck. But the areas you missed, you're like going to have to come back in. So rather than come back in after, I actually do it almost immediately. First I need to return this to its container. Pull that up. Slide that back in. Losing a lot. There we go. And there. And bring it back over. Now, there are some areas that are missing, and what I do now is actually come back in with the same brush. Loop, and I just actually start tapping over the areas where I think it might be a little bit thin. And you will pick up some grass on your brush, but that's perfectly fine. Just going back in the loop, make that news. Just come over and tap down all these areas that I've already covered. And it flags it some of the grass, some of the grass is standing, so it makes it look a little more natural. So tap, oh, there we go, all the grooves and stuff. Uh, so I just come in and I'm tapping all these areas, recovering, going up on some of the rocks. Some of the rocks actually go up on purpose. So it looks like it might grow up on these guys. There we go. Now what I want to do is I'm going to come in with a darker uh, block. Now this stuff here is actually uh, blunt, this is just regular uh, uh, blended turf. And it's got a, a bicolor, but it's mainly uh, mainly dark. And what I'm going to do is actually now that I've recovered that, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Shake it on very liberally. Cover, cover, cover all those areas. Do a one, two, three count, and start pounding it off. Tap, almost covered. Come back in, sprinkle, sprinkle. Now you're wondering why I'm covering where you're going to sit. Well, for me, I like thick 